Yo, first of all, what does this mean? That I just put right now in general. Okay, so this is a METAR uh, weather report. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. So basically, the METAR just is, you know, the weather report. Then GGG is the airport code. And then 16 is the day of the month. 1753 Zulu is military time for 5:53 p.m. and it's an auto generated report 100 the winds the wind is going at 140 degrees which is like but i have a question do you actually know what this means <laughs> i'm telling you so 140 degrees 21 is how fast 21 knots is how fast the wind is going gusting up to 26 knots as it can go up to 26 knots and it's like, uh it's like the height or what's that knots it's like uh speed like you know in the ships like how fast you're going it's a speed. oh yeah okay yeah yeah knots. okay oh, yeah so 26 knots so it's like um that's like 22 miles per hour wait wait sorry okay. no that's like 30 miles per hour actually knots are a little bit slower than a earth and that's like 60 kilometers per hour right or 50 or or something like that i don't know i don't know kilometers but i assume kilometers would be like 50. yeah um if it's 30 miles per hour so then it's three four, so sm is stands for statute miles this is three quarters of a statute mile is the visibility during this day um the trs stands for thunderstorms i don't know what the br stands for the bkn stands for broken clouds at and then this is 800 it's it's kind of weird because it can go up it's to eight. zero zero eight zero zero eight you're supposed to add two zero so it's actually 800 um oh. but it can go up to you know ten thousand uh because you're talking about altitude you know and then uh the ovc stands for overcast uh clouds and then that's at 1200 feet and then cumulo it's like cumulo nimbus clouds it's the type of cloud you got 18 over 17 is like the dew point so 18 degrees celsius is the temperature and then um the 17 is um is dew point so basically if that's if that number is wide it makes it more likely that you'll get like water on your airplane wings and then sure. i I don't know what A27, A2970 means. I know that RMK is like remark, and so he's like putting a note in there, but I have no clue what that. But wasn't wasn't KGG, like just KGG, wasn't that like an airplane or like a weapon? <laughs> no, it's the airport. Wait, 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 just a second. Let me, let me search. No, KGG no, no. KGG no. weapon. It is a weapon. <laughs> That's right. All right, sh send me a picture. Just a second. I'll give you a link, actually. You send me a link. Okay, well. Yeah, just just press it. It's from Google. It, like it's a sword. I guess. No, that's not a weapon. It you is. just typed in KGG weapon and it <laughs> pulled up weapons. That's not okay, a weapon. Okay, wait. KGG plane. There's no. Oh none yes, of these. yes. HB KGG. Landed two hours and forty-five minutes ago. <laughs> wait, look. Flightaware.com. I sent you a link. All right. Yeah. So KGG is a HBKGG. Yes. That's a flight. Oh yeah, it's a flight schedule. Wait, 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 wait. This is nothing. This is just a flight number, and it's not okay, even I, KGG. I guess, I guess you won the fight. I, I guess I you won, won the fight. fight. <laughs> I won the fight. That's right. I did first time. Okay. What's your net? <laughs> First time. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm doing it. Neva, I'm becoming a pilot. Okay, if you're becoming a pilot, tell me what this means. Okay, so this is a different class, like um, airspace. So everything above 1,800 feet is class A airspace, um, but class B is used for like big airports, uh, and so it's like a upside down wedding cake. You got like um these different areas that you can't fly into without air control permission and then a class c is a small airport and the class d is like a like a dirt airport and then uh class e airspace uh you're usually yeah. fine if you want to be in class e airspace and then class g airspace is everything 
is basically non-airspace, and that's that's where you can fly a drone whenever you want. No one, no oh, one. Oh, so can... that's your that's your class, right? That's my class. I'm class G. <laughs> okay. And what what if, like, can you apply for class A? No, I mean, I can't even. I don't think drones can even get up that high. I'm sure some. I mean, yeah, but can. but not for drones. I don't know. Maybe if you had a drone that could even get that high, you could apply for it. No, but... no. So you could fly a plane. I I think that if I could get to class A airspace, that I could. They probably. You're gonna let... be from NASA. They're going to space. <laughs> they would let me be up there. <laughs> but they but they're cool. like they astronaut. <laughs> They don't care because they know I can't actually get up there. It's too high. You're gonna be the first man on on the sun. On the sun. <laughs> yes. On Jupiter. Okay. So do you believe me now? I'm getting my pilot. I'm getting my pilot's license. No, 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 not yet. You <laughs> think you're gonna escape that easily? <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> okay. Next one. Alright, next one. Oh. What's this? <laughs> ah, okay, so basically when your plane is uh, is flying and you take a big turn, um, it adds to your weight because you're pushing like, you know when you're driving a car and you turn really fast, you yeah, push it's, up against it's the side? You. Yeah, it's, it's starting to the, the other side, the opposite. Yeah, they call it the G factor, or the G units, or something like that. Anyways, that's what this. That's why it says load factor G units. So it's it's like a G force, and uh, and so basically, what this does is it measures the actual weight of your the turning. Oh yeah, so I see. Crazy. Like if you have like seventy five, no eighty, uh, it's like seven G units. So if you. <laughs> what? Look what Joseph said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone can see it. Uh, Joseph just said, "Are you okay, Nevo?" <laughs> um. So this one, I'm actually a little bit confused on because I'm mostly flying. I'm going to be flying drones, not airplanes. But and this has more to do with that. But basically, if you're flying and you turn really sharp, so let's say you, you bank at an angle of 50, then it's going to multiply your load factor by 1.5. Well, that seems complicated. Uh, yeah, so like, it, I don't really understand it because, like, look at this. At 85 degrees, it's like off the chart. And yeah, so, so it might be it might be like a thousand or something. Yeah, something crazy. So if you take a ninety degree angle, which is a right a complete right turn, which would be very difficult to do in a plane, I think your plane would just explode. <laughs> I think it would just fall <laughs> apart. <laughs> but can you do that with the drone? Yeah, I can do that with the drone easy. Yeah, well, but like instantly. Okay, no, that's not degrees. true. If I'm going too fast. But I can yeah, just yeah. hover with my drone, so yeah, I could take a, I could bank 90 degrees. At yep, zero. but you gotta stop to take the 90 degrees on a drone, right? Yeah, but I, it doesn't fact. It, something's weird about it. So I guess the load factor has to somehow have your auto, your speed factored in here, and I don't really know where where it is. But I, I think I can answer the questions on the test, I, with the knowledge I have. Yeah, but the thing is, so if you're with a plate. And you wanna go like you're you're moving basically with the plane. So if you wanna like turn ninety degrees, it's gonna be hard. But if you're impossible. going with a drone, yeah, very impossible. Yeah, if you you're break, going with the brain, drone, your plane would break in half. I I think it's gonna be the same with the drone, to be honest. Because it's still I mean, moving like. And it's... If I'm moving, but I can I can turn without moving, which is different than a plane. I mean, yeah, but. I can stop and then turn. I do it all the time. I mean, yeah, but does it count? <laughs> I think it should. I don't know. Alright, do you believe I'm a pilot yet? No. What is this? 
Tell me everything oh about this. Oh my gosh, this everything. is so complex. Okay. So, um, okay, let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is it's too much. I, literally, there's a hundred things on here. Um, okay, so we have time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's start with these little boxes. Uh, so you see the little, uh, the whole thing's in a grid? Yeah. That's longitude, longitude and latitude of the Yeah, Earth. I know. Okay. Okay, so the, the, the horizontal bars is the lad, the latitude, and, uh, I'm trying to find the number Yeah, I, I know, I know that. <laughs> okay, well, you ask. Because I have, yeah, I have a... Max grids is deep geography, so I know oh, that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Send me a better picture of the map. This is a bad one. Okay, just a second. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> look 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 on general. Go All down. Right, I'm going to, but when you see this, you're gonna see that I have a map of uh, San Antonio. My uh, my hometown. And this is this isn't even all of it, it folds out even bigger first I found one with the whole world <laughs> are you serious yeah look on general it's All literally right. click the link uh, okay I'm, I'm clicking on the map on no, the, no, not the map the, the link the link I clicked on the link and now just scroll scroll up scroll holy down. moly wow literally the whole... <laughs> okay my PC is gonna explode it just has the U.S. What? It just no. shows the U.S. No, it shows all, but it's not the loading. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom into San Antonio, where I live. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I don't. I'm. There we go. <laughs> I was so okay. like two seconds ago. Go. I was in LA. Now I'm in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what's up here. Okay, so like right here, um, I'll show you a few things. So this is, this right here is some big airport. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, okay, this is the San Antonio International Airport. Um, oh, the, C, the CT stands for uh, the radio frequency, I think, that you're supposed to like. The CT, uh, you yeah, think? it's control if you, tower. If you say that, yeah, no, if you no, no. say that you're exempt. No, no, I, I'm, I know, <laughs> I know, it's control tower, and that's the the radio frequency you use to talk to the control like, tower. Like Frieza, just just imagine you're a pilot, and then the co-pilot asks you, "Do we take left or right?" And then you say, "Left." I think. <laughs> <laughs> I I got this. I got this. It's the control tower. And then uh, it has uh, like the weather report station, and then like if the pilots want to talk to each other, they can go to one twenty-two point nine five to talk to each other in unofficially and not to the tower. So that's that part. But then these big lines are this is Class B airspace, and so you've got um, like right here. This stands for between. 2,000 feet and 48, sorry, yeah, 4,800 feet is Class B airspace. So technically, and this is 4,800 feet all the way to surface, so it goes all the way up to the top. But if I'm right here, and I'm right next to the airport still, but technically I can go up to 2,000 feet and not be in the Class B airspace, not have to get traffic control. Um, so, and, and then over here, you can see, um, hold on, I'm trying to remember what this, oh, that's class G, okay, so it, it's if still, if you did it the exam, you... <laughs> no, I can't look at my notes in the exam, so I, I'm, I screwed up, but, yeah. uh, also, like these are mountains, and uh, these are towers. You basically, don't and, hit them. And so you can see the, and they have the range above surface of all of them. And then some of them you can see here's above surface, but then you can see this is above 
No, I lied to you. This is above uh, the ground. This is above sea level, and this is a above ground level. The smaller number is above ground level. So, anyways, you can see like oh, anyways, yeah. So it's it's a little confusing. <laughs> So this tower, this tower right here, this tall tower is almost 500 feet tall. Uh, how? I mean, I don't know, like the feet to meters. Uh, so it's like a hundred and... Wait, 500... A hundred and sixty... A hundred and sixty meters tall. No, it's 152. Whatever, it's close enough. <laughs> The, the tall tower, these towers are 152 meters. And if you want me to be specific, it's 152.4 exactly. Of course, everyone on this video wants you to be specific, uh, yes. Nemo. Yes. <laughs> okay. So do you believe me that I'm a pilot? That I'm going to be a pilot? Oh, also I forgot, this is a restricted area. Uh, I think it's, no, no, it's not a restricted area. It's an MOA. That's a military operations area right here. And then this is another MO, MOA. You can still fly in there, but you have to be super careful. Okay, I'll believe you after you explain me this. That, this is what I was already explaining. Uh, this is the same map thing. So basically, oh. um, the, this, this is the legend. This, this is explaining. Oh, okay. Uh, the map that you were just looking at it. It's how you l read the map. All right. So that was an easy one <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but on the right What's on the right? That's what I was explaining to you or the the different CT is the con control oh. tower okay. See I got it right. It was a control tower Okay, wait wait just a second <laughs> This this is the same thing. This is oh all... my god! <laughs> it's all the legend. These are the towers I was just talking about. And... Okay, okay, I'll give you. If you pass this, then I'll believe you. All right. Oh, but I got something wrong. Don't tell me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> oh okay, what man. What was that? <laughs> I it was Class C airspace, not Class B airspace. So I guess the San Antonio Air Pit, airport is uh, smaller than I, <laughs> I thought it was. It's it's just class C. Class look B at, is the blue. Look at Joseph. <laughs> uh, Joseph says, uh, "Are you pl Nevo, are you planning to open your own airport? <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, sir. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is uh, a TAF report. It's also a weather report. The, P <laughs> the PIR is the airport code. And then it's uh, the eleventh day of the month, uh, from or it's eleven thirty in the morning. You know what they see in my mind? Random letters and numbers. I'm telling you, they're not <laughs> random. I'm showing you. So then this is the eleventh day of the month at noon. Uh, the report goes. Uh, this report goes from noon on the eleventh to noon on the twelfth, and then it gives you a bunch of like random. So like noon on the 11th to 2 p.m. on the 11th visibility is five miles uh you've got oh, i forgot what fm <laughs> dang it i forgot something what is look FM? at joseph let me guess first flight to troll valley <laughs> <laughs> first flight <laughs> oh, oh my joseph. god this is great troll valley <laughs> Dang it. Okay, this is Broken Clouds. Oh Cumulonimbus. What is FM? It's not showing up in my notes. And I can't even use my notes. What does FM mean? I failed, Nevo. <laughs> Yo, guys, everyone who wants me as a teacher for their online classes, press the like button right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, Nevo, I don't know what it is and you can't teach it to me. I mean... <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. What? I remember it. No. This is 3 p.m., so it's just time, and um, and it's and this is the wind. So it's uh, 160 degrees, uh, 15 knots to 25 knots, gusting to 25 knots of variability. Um, 
And then the P6SM, it, oh, um, it is six statute miles. What does the P stand for again? It's like every airport and every tower from the whole world. Yeah. This is the FAA. These are the guys I'm getting my license from. Oh, Federal Avi Aviation Administration? Yeah. Nice. They're, I'm going to be one of them. Uh, the notices are important because, like, um, like when, when a president gets, goes on like a parade or something, or there's some, or they're on vacation or something, there'll be like notices that say no one can fly in these certain areas, you know. And so I need to know that. <laughs> and this will be the plane that you're using, troll. <laughs> it says troll on it. Oh my. God. That is. This is Nevo's airplane, guys. This is Nevo's airplane. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so do you believe me now? Do you believe that I'm going to be a pilot? Yes, I, I believe you now. Yes. But you still need some private classes with me. I, no, <laughs> I, I'm going to take my test tomorrow, and I'm going to get my license, and then I'm going to start releasing videos with drone footage. It's going to be awesome. So... Guys, get excited. I This channel is going to get a huge upgrade. Um, by the time you're watching this video, I will already probably be recording. Uh, uh, if I pass if I pass my test, I will be, which Nevo's, Nevo's taught me well, so I'm gonna pass and uh, and then I'll be a pilot. And I'm really excited. Guys, right. press, press the like button if you want me to open my own airport in San Antonio. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time.